A little bit about me. Uh, I am pansexual. You yeah, woo! Thank you. If you don't know what that is, it's just bisexual for girls who need more attention. <laughs> That's what I am. <laughs> Did anyone else have gender bender day in grade school? <laughs> All right, this is a thing in the Midwest. Um, I went to a Catholic school uh, my whole life. In grade school, they taught us being gay is wrong, but they also, for school spirit week, said that girls could come to school dressed as little boys and little boys could come to school dressed as little girls for spirit, <laughs> which I think is, that's a little gay, I think. Uh, so I, I guess like what my school was saying is like, it's okay to be gay as long as it's for Jesus, <laughs> which makes sense why on Sundays you can put Jesus in your mouth regardless of gender. <laughs> Plot twist, I'm an attorney. Um, <laughs> that means my safe word is objection. It's <laughs> a huge asterisk by attorney though, because I did graduate during the pandemic. So I graduated from online law school, which is not what you want your attorney to say. <laughs> top three worst things to come from an attorney, it's that Here's your bill, and I'm doing comedy after this. <laughs> uh, you might be wondering what kind of law I do. I do uh, post-conviction work, so I'm trying to get people out of prison. Um, thank you, I am a hero sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, wait. There's also a lot of like serial rapists who are trying to get out of prison, so you know it's really a, a mixed bag. <laughs> people I'm helping. Uh, I mentioned I'm not very good at the law. <laughs> All my clients are still in prison. <laughs> I failed the bar three times. And I know what you're thinking, like, oh, this is a, this is a redemption story. You eventually passed. And like, our lawyer, I never passed the bar exam. I never passed. I took my failing score and transferred it to a state with lower standards. And that's why I'm practicing in Washington right now. <laughs> Which is some pretty lawyer shit to me. Uh, okay, in my defense, uh, the bar exam is, it's a horrible exam uh, in a horrible institution. It's it's racist, it's ableist, it's homophobic, it's all that shit. It's mostly sexist though. The bar exam is mostly sexist. They wouldn't let me bring my tampons into the testing area because they thought I would write answers on them. <laughs> Which, I mean, good call. <laughs> on their part, you know, because women Takes a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to be an attorney, mostly blood. Um, speaking of gross things, uh, I do have a tongue ring because I'm a cool lawyer, okay? Um, I hate when guys are like, oh, you got a tongue ring because you must love giving head. Uh, that's not why I got a tongue ring. I got a tongue ring because I wanted my mom to think I love giving head. <laughs> I, I, uh, I will, uh, I will not give head usually. Uh, the only time I will is to like save a relationship, you know. <laughs> like I won't have a baby, but I will eat one. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Let's go back to the lawyer stuff. We seem to like that better. Um, I feel like uh, I'm unqualified to be in the courtroom. I feel like the only thing I could be in the courtroom is like a sub.
substitute attorney. Look, if your regular attorney isn't in court that day, I do feel comfortable wheeling in a TV and playing Law and Order for the rest of the next hour. Um, I do feel comfortable doing that. Uh, anyone drinking tonight? Yeah. Uh, here's here's a fun one. Um, did you know when uh, a guy puts drugs in a drink, that's called roofing, but when a woman does it, it's called making a love potion. <laughs> because witches be witches. Hey! I've been Laura Lyons. Goodbye. Woo!